Hello everybody and welcome to Parks Bros. It's Drew here and we have another update from West Coast Racers at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Thanks to our good friend John who sent us this on the 4th of July. But sadly I wasn't able to get to it on the 4th of July because I was at Knott's Berry Farm hanging out with our good friends from Coaster Studios, Midway Mayhem, Ohio Valley Coasters, and even more. And it was great meeting everybody that I got to meet on the 4th of July. But as of right now, you can see that that second layer of the actual support structure for the spaghetti bowl section, which by the way, the park is now using as an official term, which I think is very, very cool, um, is pretty much completed. So we've got about half of that side section, half of that helix support section finished for the spaghetti bowl section of West Coast Racers. It's looking fantastic from up in the air near Ninja's exit queue. Like just look at all that support structure, all kind of crazy, making this almost spider web creation. It's really cool to see all that. Of course, once the track goes in, it'll definitely look more like a spaghetti bowl and less like a spider web. But honestly, it is amazing to see this much support going up for the tracks that will hopefully be put in pretty soon here. I'm actually kind of surprised that the tracks are not in yet and that they decided to put in more supports than track in the past couple weeks. But here is a great close-up look from next to the preview center, as you can see. And you can see that it definitely towers over the Cyclone 500 go-karts, especially right over that station area. And I have a feeling that it's going to be really tough to see any parts of the go-karts except for, of course, the station itself. But that's even going to be crowded by everything else in that area, especially with West Coast racers in the future. But honestly, I'm tempted to go on the go-karts for the first time ever once West Coast Racers opens to hopefully get some amazing views of the ride from right below it. We're probably talking about 15 feet below the coaster itself. I'm wondering if they're going to put up netting potentially. I'm sure that they will have a policy where you're not supposed to have anything in your pockets. They supposedly are also going to have those zipper pouches that they have on Twisted Colossus as well as like Steel Vengeance and Twisted Timbers and even full throttle now. So hopefully we'll see them implement these zipper pouches so no loose articles could have a potential of falling onto the go-kart track. If any items do fall though, I'm sure they will put in netting, which might not be the best view from the go-karts, but if it's safer, I think that's definitely the best thing to do. Construction is still going along. We will probably have a bigger update later on in the week. But I want to say a huge thanks to John for getting this footage for us. And I just want to say a quick happy late 4th of July to everybody that's in America as of right now. Or I should say the United States of America. And if you're from Canada, happy late Canada Day as well. The West Coast Racers is looking pretty great so far. Hopefully we'll get some more information on when the ride will be opening in the near future. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go check out John's Instagram. And of course, as always, we'll see you on the next ride.